Hi everyone, welcome back to Wig Studio One. I'm Marlene from Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio and today I'll be reviewing the brand new On and Ten by Raquel Welch in the color Black Coffee. I'd like to thank Wig Studio One for providing On and Ten for me to review for you in this beautiful color Black Coffee. If you have any questions about On and Ten or any of the brand new styles or any of the styles that we show here at Wig Studio One, please contact support at wigstudio1.com and the consultants will be happy to help you. If you to see more about On and Ten on the Wig Studio One website and all the colors that are available in this beautiful new style, please look down in the description box and there will be a link there for you. All right, can we just say how cute this style is? I, it's kind of flipping on me a little bit, but these are true to life fibers. In other words, they're heat friendly. So we can do the, we can make it into a page or a, a little bob, if you will. Let me show you on and 10 on all sides. you can see it is wanting to flip but I just took it out of the box we have on on in 10 we have a built lift throughout I had never seen that before but that's how it was stated on the specs so we do have some permatease at the crown and we have a little bit of permatease right up here but you know it's not an abundance we it's not that great big pillowy permatease it's a little bit of permatease but i think it's very manageable we do have a lighter density on on in 10 on in 10 only weighs 3.7 ounces we have a bang they say seven inches i believe it's a little bit shorter than seven inches because my face from hairline to chin is seven and three quarters and as you can see that is nowhere near uh, the length of my face with on and 10 we could wear it with so we did I mention we have a basic cap so we can't wear it off the face because there's no lace but we can wear it as a side swept we can trim those bangs and wear it as a pretty wispy bang we have the crown at seven and a half inches. The nape is three and three quarters. The sides are seven inches and the back is eight inches. Perfect, perfect length for these heat friendly fibers. You're not going to rub against your shoulders. You're not going to rub against any clothes unless it's winter and you're wearing it with turtlenecks. But other than that, I think it, I think it's perfect perfect length and the density allows us to tuck it I just recorded the uh, the unboxing for my channel and I, I couldn't believe how versatile this style is so we can wear it like this it's kind of giving me that 60s vibe but well, by the way how cute is that so we can flip it And we could actually add the real flips if we use some uh, uh, hot tool. Add a headband. Add a little clip. Mess it up a little bit. On the stock photos, it... it it appears as a page or a little bob. When I took on and 10 out of the box, there were lots of flips. So I don't want you to be concerned about that if you get one like mine and there are flips. Because yes, you can wear it with the flip and add the flips if that's what you prefer. But if not, you could just uh, tuck it under these true to life fibers are just beautiful I'm 
with a curling iron. I, on, I only use my curling iron. I, I, I adjust the temperature to 320 degrees and that is perfect. So you could certainly make it into a real bob. We don't have any monofilament. So we could just move the fibers over to the side. And that's perfect or move it over to the other side i think the style itself is very similar to alva which has been so popular with so many however i feel that we have more versatility with on and ten and we don't have that high density we don't have that high permities i think it's just a really really pretty style as far as the fit, I feel that it runs on the larger side of average. I'll sh when I show you the cap, you'll see how much I cinched it in to accommodate my 21 and a half inch circumference. I did cut my hair really short, but I am wearing a wig grip. And the adjusters, I bought them in to the center. And I could probably use bringing them in a little bit more. The coverage on the sides here is here. Are, here's the ear tab and here is my hairline. So we do have really good coverage. I did not trim these bangs. I haven't done any modifications of any sort to it. What I did, I just pulled it back so I could do the review and the hair wouldn't be in my face, but you can trim those bangs and make them and make it your own. So many uh, styling possibilities. I, when I first saw the style, I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me how much of uh, different styling options I had with, with this style. And I, I just think it's so, so pretty. Look at that. It just, it just flips. And if you don't like them, just move them down. Can you tell I really like the style? All right. Let, oh, let me talk to you about the color. <laughs> black coffee. The color code for black coffee is 46. The color description on um, from Hair You Wear is that it's a, a rich, dark brown. However, a 46 doesn't indicate just a dark brown. It's an indication of a 4, which is your darkest brown, and then a 6, which is your a dark brown. So we do have a blend here of the darkest brown and a dark brown. It's, um, I want to say that it, it does have some warmth to it. I don't, I wouldn't say that this is a cool color. And when we go outside, you'll be able to really see the, the contrast. If you are a dark brunette, but you still want a little bit of dimension to your color, I think this is perfect. I don't feel that there's so much red in it that if you like, if you don't like red, you wouldn't be able to wear it. I also don't see it necessarily as black coffee. To me, I drink black coffee and my coffee is a lot darker than this. Um, but just so you get the, the idea, <laughs> definitely a beautiful, beautiful brunette. And there are, of course, many other colors to choose from on On and Ten. All right, let's take a walk outside so you can see this gorgeous color out in the daylight. I'll show you the cap and I'll come back. nice felt on the front and clothes for the uh, permatease small open ear tabs and there are fibers that come out from the ear tabs we have an open extended nape and there is a little bit of polyurethane on the nape if you needed to add some wig adhesive we have a memory cap three and this just molds to our head 
in a way that just makes this cap so incredibly comfortable and it remembers the shape of our head. There is lots and lots of stretch to it. And as you can see, to fit my 21 and a half inch circumference, you could see the um, Velcro adjusters are all the way to the center. And I was wearing the, the wig grip. Thank you, everyone. At Wig Studio One, we appreciate you spending this time with us. Please let us know what you think about On and Ten. Is this a style that you would consider? We'd love to hear from you. We hope that everyone is having a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.